Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. Today we'll be showing you how you can block a website on your phone on whatever device you use, iPhone or Android, it works on both of them. And also whatever browser you use, Safari or Google Chrome, and you will be able to block website on any browser. For example, if the user installs another browser from the Play Store or App Store, the website will be also blocked in the browser. So let's get to it. As you can see, this is an Android phone, but as I said, it works on both devices, Android and iPhone. So I'm accessing facebook.com right now as you can see on the screen and I'm going to do this demonstration on facebook.com so as you can see I can freely access the facebook.com right now and it's uh, give me the login page. So the mobile phone browsers doesn't give you the option to block a website from accessing it. So to do this trick the first thing you're going to do is exit from the browser and access the play store and if you are on iPhone access the app store and search for this application it's called block site i will put link for them in description just scroll down to the description and you will see two links for this application on android on iphone just click on the link whatever you use and install this application right here so i'm going to install it right now so once you have installed it click on open and also the steps are really similar to the both devices android or on iphone because we are using the same application so the first thing you will see once you click on open you will see a page says bunch of uh, we take care of your privacy and blah 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 just click on accept so after that for this application to work properly you need to enable the accessibility features on it to be able to work on top of other apps so it will be able to block websites so click on enable accessibility so my phone recorder is giving the black screen for security purposes just scroll down the page and you will see installed services click on installed services and you will see some of the applications that are installed on your device and click on block site which is as you can see on the screen it's the first application on the list after that turn it on and click on ok so it will take you back to the application you don't need to log in or create an account on the application just click on the x button at the top left corner and it will ask you again do you want to start a trial just click on the X button again, you don't need to try the, the free version, it's working fine for this purpose. So after that, you are ready to go. Just click on the plus button, as you can see, it's highlighted right now. And it will take you to a page to search for a certain website or application to block on the phone. If you remember, at first I said I want to block facebook.com. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to type in facebook.com right now. And as you can see, it's showing me facebook.com right now. Click on the plus button right here. And it has been added to the blocking list. And as you can see, it says, nice job. You just added one item to your block list. And what I'm going to do is get back to the browser, which is Google Chrome. And I'm trying to access the Facebook right now and see if it will allow me to access facebook.com or not. And as you can see, once the page is loaded, it says this site is blocked by block site. It says forget about it. And it's showing a sad doggy face, <laughs> which is funny. And if you want to unblock the facebook.com, just get back to the application as you can see and click on the trash can icon right here. Once you click it on it, you should see the list has been empty. So let's just get back to the browser and try to access facebook.com to see if I can access it or not. And as you can see, I can access the facebook.com. It's showing me again the login page. It's not blocked because I unblocked the website. So if the video helps you out, help me out and hit the like button and make sure to subscribe because I do make video tutorials each day. Every day is a new video tutorial for you and for me on how to do stuff online. So if you are interested, hit the like button and make sure to subscribe for more future videos. And thanks for watching and see you next time. Bye bye.